ground directional steering is controlled by a nose steering wheel or rudder pedals. Both methods mechanically activate steering actuators that turn the nose wheels. The nose wheel steering system is powered by hydraulic system A. In flight, when the nose gear strut is extended, the nose wheels are mechanically centered and nose wheel steering is deactivated. Controls and indicators for the nose wheel steering system are located to the left of the captain's seat and on the rudder pedals. Now let's look at nose wheel steering normal operations. The nose steering wheel controls steering when the nose strut is compressed. Rotating the nose steering wheel through its full range turns the nose wheel 78 degrees either side of center. Rudder pedal steering is also available anytime the nose strut is compressed. Deflecting the rudder pedals turns the nose wheels approximately 7 degrees either side of center. The nose steering wheel has priority over rudder pedal steering. Rotating the steering wheel out of the center detent overrides rudder pedal inputs. A nose steering bypass pin can be inserted in the steering mechanism to bypass hydraulic pressure disconnect steering and allow free turning of the nose wheels up to 90 degrees for pushback or towing. Now let's look at nose wheel steering abnormal operations. If hydraulic system A fails, Limited steering is available through differential braking. 